One third of biologists now question Darwinism. Quote, Current estimates are that approximately one third of professional academic biologists, who do not believe in intelligent design, find Darwin's theory is inadequate to describe all of the complexity in biology. My comment. A growing number of scientists are skeptical of the claims of Darwinism and Neo-Darwinism. As we have discussed in many videos, Neo-Darwinism works for microevolution, adaptation of a species inside a genus or family, but Neo-Darwinism fails for mega-evolution, the claim of single cell to human evolution, including creation of completely new body plants and completely new phyla. In this video, we provide quotes from the article, Why One Third of Biologists Now Question Darwinism, by Benjamin Dierker, The Federalist, 2019. Quote, but the growing discontent in academia is from secular naturalists. My comment, skepticism of Darwinism is not just from creationists. Quote, at its most specific level, of the common descent of all life on Earth from a single ancestor, via undirected mutation and natural selection, many legitimately question evolutionary theory as it stands. My comment. The scientific evidence falsifies naturalistic universal common descent, as we have discussed in many videos. Quote. Even when used technically in academic biologist circles, real skepticism exists about the theory. Quote. A controversial letter to Nature in 2014, signaled the mounting concern, however slow and cautious, among thoughtful professional biologists. Other works by atheist authors like, What Darwin Got Wrong, and, Mind and Cosmos, find, fatal flaws, in the theory and assert it is, almost certainly false. Quote. Another project, The Third Way, seeks to avoid a false choice between divine intervention, which it outright rejects, and the neo-Darwinian model, which it finds unsupported in the face of modern molecular theory. Quote. This dissatisfaction is a matter of public record. My comment. So, it is not just creationists or intelligent design theorists who are skeptical of Darwinism and Neo-Darwinism. Quote. They find problems with the explanatory value of Darwin's theory, in light of modern understanding of mutation, variation, DNA sequencing, and more. Quote. Support for our position comes from academic fields on the periphery of evolutionary biology, such as evolutionary developmental biology, ecological developmental biology, paleontology, botany, and the human sciences. Quote, after publishing in Nature, Laland received more than 1,000 emails in support from the academic community. This number is huge for a critique of such a long-standing accepted theory. In the five years since the Nature letter, support has also only grown. My comment. So, it is not just creationists or intelligent design theorists who are skeptical of Darwinism and Neo-Darwinism. Quote, the growth of the intelligent design community is noteworthy, but not as interesting as those who are apart from it, secular, and nonetheless find Darwinian evolution to contain serious flaws. Quote, Behe explained that, based on conversations with my own colleagues at Lehigh University, dozens of other biologists, and news stories in journals, I would guesstimate that a third or more of biologists are quite skeptical, that Darwin's theory explains all of biology. The growing literature speaks for itself. My comment. In my experience, a growing number of scientists are skeptical of Darwinism, as applied to mega-evolution, but speaking out in public can harm their careers. Quote. Paul Nelson told Stein that, one-on-one -on -one at a scientific meeting, after the third or fourth beer, my experience has been, that many evolutionary biologists will say, yeah, this theory's got a lot of problems. Quote. While intelligent design gets a bad rap, such titans as Francis Crick and Richard Dawkins, have espoused the same tenets. Note, both reject theism. Quote, the plain truth from the literature, conferences, expert perception, and a bit of anecdote for color, is that current neo-Darwinism is far from the untouchable theory it is lauded to be. Not only this, but it has serious and increasing skeptics and challengers, from within the secular scientific community. My comment, I used to believe in naturalistic mega-evolution. However, the deeper I looked into the scientific literature, the more I found that the claims of neo-Darwinism are false for mega-evolution. We have presented many videos looking at the scientific reasons to reject naturalistic mega-evolution. Conclusion. One-third of biologists now question Darwinism, and a growing number of scientists in general are growing increasingly skeptical of the claims of neo-Darwinism to explain single cell to human evolution, by random chance and natural selection. My comment. Random chance is limited by the material and time resources of the 14 billion year universe. These limits falsify naturalistic mega-evolution. Natural selection is limited by the waiting time problem, and the genetic deaths problem, the cost of selection, the cost of substitution, 
These limits falsify naturalistic mega-evolution. Conclusion 1. Neo-Darwinism works for microevolution, adaptation of a species inside a genus or family, but Neo-Darwinism fails for mega-evolution. The claim of single cell to human evolution, including creation of completely new body plans and completely new phyla. 2. And, this is the case for all naturalistic mechanisms in the extended synthesis. 3. The scientific evidence points strongly to intelligent design infusion of bioinformation at the origin of life, and at the origin of each of the higher taxa, and at the origin of human beings. Please see the evolution playlist and the intelligent design playlist on our channel for more details. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.